The easiest way to start a new project with Expo Router is to use the create Expo app command. But first, we need to set up our development environment. We need two things, Node.js and a text editor of your choice. Head over to nodejs.org to download and install the latest stable release of Node.js. If you already have it installed, just make sure it's up to date. For the text editor, I personally recommend VS Code. You can grab for free from code.visualstudio.com. I have created a folder called Expo Router Course and opened VS Code in it. This folder will be our workspace throughout the course. Please make sure to not include spaces in the folder name as that will cause issues with the project setup. Now open up your terminal, control backtick being the shortcut and run the command npx create hyphen expo hyphen app at latest followed by the project name. Let's call it fundamentals app. Again, no spaces. This will take a few seconds to create a new Expo project with Expo Router already installed. The generated app contains some navigation out of the box. However, in this course, we will learn Expo Router from scratch, so we will run a script to remove the boilerplate code and start fresh. In the terminal, navigate to the project folder with cd fundamentals app and run the command npm run reset hyphen project. When prompted, if you want to move or delete the existing files, choose delete by typing N and then press enter. You'll see a list of files that have been deleted. We will create our own directories and files as we go along, which will give you a better understanding of how Explorator works from the ground up. All right, it's time to run and test the app. One of the great advantages of using Expo is that we can test our app using Expo Go without needing to install Android Studio or Xcode. Expo Go is a free app available on both iOS App Store and Android Play Store that allows you to run your Expo projects directly on your physical device. You can also test your Expo Router apps directly in your web browser for an even simpler development experience. I'll show you both ways as we go along, but for now, just grab Expo Go on your phone. I'll be using my iPhone for the demos. Please make sure your phone is connected to the same Wi-Fi network as your computer. Once you have the app installed, go back to VS Code and in the project directory, Fundamentals App, run the command npx expo start. This will start the Expo development server and display a QR code in the terminal. Scan this QR code to open the app on your device. On Android, use the Expo Go Apps Scan QR Code option. On iOS, use the default camera app. And to run the web app, press W in the terminal. I will open the app on my phone and mirror it for you to see. When you open the app, you will see a simple screen with a text message. Edit app slash index dot TSX to edit the screen. Open the file in your editor, so app index dot TSX, and you will see the code that's currently running on the screen. The component is using React Native components like view and text, which works similar to div and paragraph tags in web development. The components accept a style prop that takes JavaScript objects instead of CSS, though many of the properties will look familiar if you've used CSS before. Update this text to hello world and save the file you will see the changes instantly reflected on the screen. In the terminal, press W to open the same app in your browser. The URL is localhost port 8081, and we see hello world. We have successfully created and run our very first React Native Expo app. We are now ready to learn the different concepts of Expo Router.